Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Tom from UDS with another edition of UDS Interviews, our series where we chat to interesting people from around the world. Now, my guest this week is a punk band that managed to strike the perfect balance between catchy, nostalgic hooks and innovation and experimentation. And they're also self-proclaimed role models. And frankly, who am I to judge? But anyway, (laughs) here to talk about their brand new single, it is my pleasure to introduce arguably the most handsomest band in the world today, Super Space Station. Projecting what I'm feeling Maybe it's my selfish way of dealing Maybe I'm too scared to be revealing What's going on in my head tonight Yes, yes. Oh, Thanks for having me It's quite an intro <laughs> I, mean, I, I speak no lie I speak no lie Everything I said there was completely true Guys, how's it going? Good We're happy to be here Got 32 ounces Bro, we are ready to rock. That is a great way to spend a what day is it today? A Tuesday. I am very, very <laughs> jealous. I'm very jealous. But uh but guys, I want to get to know the real you before I get to, you know, the real questions. If each of you was a type of sandwich, what kind of sandwich would you say best represents you as a person? Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah. I I've, I've been thinking about this one for like at least a week now. <laughs> Watching the other ones, and I was like, I've got to prepare myself for nice. this exact question. You've been thinking about it for a week, but it really takes a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it really it, it, it's inside you. You know, it's somewhere yeah. deep inside. You know what sandwich you are. <laughs> Shoot, you my go first. My favorite sandwich is like a Reuben for sure. Maybe I'd be a Reuben because that is like something classic. It's kind of tangy when the Thousand Island. That Russian dressing hits it a little bit crunchy with the crowd, you know. Oh, um, perfect. It's like a textural experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's flavorful. There's a lot going on in a room. Then. And it's like these seemingly disparate elements that come together <laughs> into something beautiful. It's a metaphor. There is some poetry in a Reuben sandwich, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll I never deny that. What about you <laughs> other guys? Oh, man, I would be an open-faced turkey sandwich. Ooh, with the gravy. Because what what you see is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing hidden there. Nothing hidden there. But, oh, my God. This is this is already one of the most delicious bands I've ever interviewed. Let's see if we can make it three for three. For three. Yeah. Come on, three for three. Uh, I think mine would probably be a chicken farm. Ooh. Um, ooh. You know, it's just some meat, sauce and cheese, <laughs> and some bread. Mm. Very simple. I'm a simple man. Party. <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly what you need and nothing that you don't. (laughs) That's it. That's it. It's it's sometimes, you know, there's a sandwich equivalent of like a comfort blanket and that's what you need. (laughs) And I think chicken palm is something like that. You're up with it. That that is it. You can't go wrong with anything you've just said. I mean, Ruben, Open Club Turkey, um, you know, ev- everything like that. I was going to say Open Club Face Sandwich because that's a Simpsons reference. But um, uh, yeah, no, I I I can't fault any of your uh, any of your sandwich choices. Very good. Very what, good. what is your sandwich selection? Oh, I mean. <sighs> Not, not to like you know sound a bit favoritist, but it has to be a Reuben. It has to be a Reuben. Like, let's go, uh, Reuben <laughs> Bros. Brothers. Absolutely, but for a very specific reason. One, because they're the most delicious sandwiches ever. But also, mm-hmm. uh, there is a British rock band called who were called Reuben, who were my absolute jam growing up. Always, always listen to Reuben, and so I can't sort of connect, Whoa. disconnect the two now. And so, yeah, Re- Reuben is just a good word for me now, and so it's a great sandwich. But. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, anyway, uh, as much as, you know, we could talk about sandwiches for the longest time, uh, we prob- <laughs> probably talk about music, probably talk about music. And that is your brand new single, Transparent Love, has been out for just about a week now. Um, yeah, so sure. so what's the reaction been to it so far? So far, it's been super positive. We've been just like overwhelmed by like the love and everything we're getting. And so we're super happy about it. We've been we actually filmed the music video on this man's 27th birthday. We did. Oh, amazing. <laughs> So we were super excited about it um, in May, and then we we're just like waiting to put it out. So we're we're pumped that it's finally released to the world. Awesome! Yeah, this one I feel like has really like checked off a lot of boxes for people. Like it's been 
very fun and like upbeat the song as opposed to some of our other tunes are more like kind of angsty or a little darker yeah lyrically or thematically Mm -hmm. and this one it's just like a good i think the timing of it worked out super well too it's like summertime for us it's super like people want to be outside and um some of the uh, pandemic restrictions have been lifted people are like ready to dance again and have fun and I think that really came through in the songs. So just the timing of it was kind of serendipitous, I think. I mean, one hundred percent. Yeah, Eve, everything from sort of you know the the tune itself to the music video and everything, it's kind of got that sort of nice summery nostalgic vibe to it. That is just it's just yeah. perfect. It's uh, it's definitely on my summer playlist, and I'm sure on a few other people's. But um, you mentioned that you know you, that you made this sort of you know at the tail end of like what has been like a very very long uh, long lockdown around the world. Easy for me to say. Um, but it's not the only single you've been releasing lately. You've actually been keeping yourself busy with a lot of cover tracks, which. Uh, <laughs> I've I've definitely been enjoying flicking through your uh, your YouTube Thanks channel, so checking them all out. Um, so what what was the process of that? Did you have like sort of a criteria of songs you wanted to feature, or was it just like, oh no, this is a banger. I want to yeah, I want to do this song sort of thing. Yeah. It's like week to week, it's like week half week and week. half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get together, you know, sit down and be like, what song do we want to do this week? Or yeah, know, really. kind of had a running list and just like pick from it, pick a different one each week. Like, yeah, it was tough. Like at times. I mean, we're, we're like, oh, what's like a song that is already kind of big in the moment, kind of, mm-hmm. and like what's a song that's already like popular and stuff like that. But we never want to like be chasing, you know, like the, the trying to capture the zeitgeist. And by the time I've heard of a song, it's like too late. I always feel like I'm the last dude <laughs> to find out about what is cool. <laughs> if I'm hearing it, then like everyone else has moved on at that point. So it would almost be like, it would be a fool's errand to some extent <laughs> to try to chase like what is popular as opposed to being like, yo, train. You gotta love, you gotta love train. Yeah. This was about 20 years ago and it's still slab. So that's it. I mean, I mean, you've got the, the balance of the timeless tracks in there perfectly. I mean, Britney Spears toxic. I mean, in a, in a dark way, very poignant at the moment, very topical. However, train is something that, yeah, you know, you can listen to that anytime, any year, and you can, you know, you can nod your head and lay like, this is a sick track. This is a sick track. And I love the way that you guys sort of, you didn't just do straight covers. You kind of like made a, uh, a bit of a twist on them all as well, which, uh, which makes them really, really unique. Yeah, it's super yeah, fun because yeah. we like produce all our music like ourselves, like right actually here in my bedroom. This is, the <laughs> yeah, this is the studio. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like super fun to get to really like play around with the arrangements and kind of do our own little flavor on stuff. And it really worked out actually, like I wish it was intentional, but it still worked out with the Elton John cover that actually we released that on his birthday. Oh, and wow. We had no idea until after yeah. we covered it. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Um, so uh, obviously, you know, as I say, you've, you've made these songs effectively your own in, in many regards. Are you planning on taking any of them on the road and performing them live? I mean, we've been about, debating that. Yeah, yeah. I really want to. We've got a show coming up in Hollywood in September. And I feel like um, it's part of like a showcase with like a PR company that we work with. Shout out to Junk Food if you're watching this. Um but uh, I feel like that would be a great show to bust out one of the covers, you know. If Evan started going into uh, the train one or that Avril Lavigne cover, you know, I feel like that's like the perfect, the perfect venue uh, for for those songs. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. But uh, but going back to your to to your original music, obviously we've had the single, which I believe is your first original single of twenty twenty one so far. <laughs> but but guys. We, we want to know when when's the album when's the ep when are we going to get a bigger a bigger <laughs> chunk of uh super space nation Ooh, I, we, that is a great question um i mean we've been, kind of been doing the singles just to kind of keep traction going and keep the momentum so it's like every you know few months there's something new for people as opposed to just dropping the ep and then the release date comes and then goes yep. and we're like yeah and then, all right, we'll see you in like a year. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Back in the hole now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we've been trying to kind of like slowly pepper them out into the world to, you know, give people a taste and then keep them coming back. <laughs> but um, 
we've definitely been talking about it because we've got a handful more like ready to drop. Nice. So we're like in, in talks right now about either doing a full length or maybe an EP. Mm. You know, it, it's just me being selfish, really, because I just want the vinyl. I, I, <laughs> I, I, just want, I just want the vinyl pressing. But uh, but no, yeah, that's really we'll exciting. Send you one when it happens. Oh, my guys, my guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just, you know, the, the single releases just make sense, particularly in lockdown when you can't tour or anything like that, just to, so, you know, make people sh- make sure people remember you and make sure that you're keeping on top of like their uh, their digital feeds and everything like that. So I do understand it. But uh, but so I was even with the covers. Yeah. You know, it's like, exactly. oh, we can't play shows right now. So what can we do that's like, you know, keeping us, you know, in top, you know, in fit that's shape it. to start playing shows again? Mm. That's it. You gotta you gotta flex those creative muscles one way or another. But uh, but you give me a good se- uh, you give me a good segue there because speaking of live shows, I believe if I've uh, um, remember your socials correctly, you've actually started playing a few live shows uh, since everything's reopened. What what's yeah. that? What's that been like? Oh my so god, fun. Feels so like, much fun. Feels like normal. Like, you know, crowded bars, no masks. Yeah. No it's gotten back to normal in like in a lot of ways. Um, the first show that we did that, we've done like three shows probably in the past like six weeks. <laughs> so we've been trying to stay busy and really, you know, hit the ground running. Um, now that everything, you know, restriction wise is kind of cooling off. Yep. Um, yep. but the first show we did back was actually so fun. There was a kind of a miscommunication about another venue we were supposed to play. And so last minute, like the venue dropped off and all the bands that were supposed to play that night, including us and like our housemate and stuff. Um, they we were all like, oh man, like we have no venue anymore and we were all ready to play. So I literally just hopped on my phone, texted everyone I know <laughs> with the backyard, and was like, How can I play in someone's backyard? Like who's gonna <laughs> let us? take over your house, like invite like a hundred people, like be very respectful. Everything will be very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was going to like throw down right now with us. We rented a porta potty, got a cooler full of beers. Yeah. We rented Amazing. our own porta potty. We threw like our own music festival. It was one night only in LA. Um, oh. It was free out- outdoors, but like masks encouraged. We had a porta potty. We had a cooler. Yeah. Full of, uh, you know, room temperature beer. And we were like, all right, this is it's going down. This is it. <laughs> We've done it. Oh, that's so cool. Cause that's the kind of thing, like those very sort of spontaneous moments. Like you guys could get, you know, a headline like the Hollywood Bowl or, you know, anything like that. But those are the nights that you just remember forever, I imagine. Like totally. just like so cool. So cool. Like a hundred of our closest friends in this backyard. Amazing. Was, oh my god, was that big? It was fun. Like I was just running on. Like we had like my phone plugged in for like music in between bands. So I'd like <laughs> literally like, crawl behind them, like push the button, like sneak off stage. Like oh, that's, that's so funny. cool. I guess I guess as well. It's kind of it's it's nice. Must be nice after sort of so much time of not being able to uh, not only tour but like you know mingle and sort of just like socialize with people not only to play oh, yeah. live but to, to play live to like your your closest friends and you know everyone that you love and everything that is there there's some there is some poetry much like a reuben sandwich there's some poetry in there so, uh, <laughs> it all comes full circle <laughs> it, it always does it always does <laughs> But uh, but one thing that a lot of people have been doing during lockdown is consuming a heck of a lot more media. So that be movies, video games, more music, mm-hmm. everything and more like that. So with that in mind, if you could have one of your songs featured in anything, whether it be a movie, whether it be TV show, video wow. game, nothing's off the table. What would it be? Mm, that's so tough. Ooh. I'm, I'm thinking of like the Olympics are coming up. The Olympics, that's legendary. Like a, like a bumper for the Olympics. Like a bumper for the that Olympics. Cool. That one, One Day cool. by Matthews Yahoo. I forget what Olympics that was a part of. But like every time someone, anyone won anything. Or Wave and Flag. Yeah, Wave and Flag. Oh, yeah, Canon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'd love yeah. to have like one of those like global sporting event mm. kind of anthems, I feel like, you know. Just like, because those songs become synonymous with victory. This is what winning sounds like. Well, that's you it. Know. I, was, I had a much lower bar. I was going to be like, <laughs> oh, Liar would be great in like 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I, I have so many friends that are in, into 90 Day Fiance, but I've still not checked it out. But... Oh, it's a deal, yeah. yeah. You go down the hole and then there's a million like offshoot shows. Really? Like all tangentially related. So it's like before the 90 days, after the 90 days, and then 90 days. And then you're like, 
I've got like 10 seasons of things to watch. It's been way more than 90 days. Too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's been a lot. It's been years. <laughs> God but damn. they just count them in 90 day chunks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it's a rabbit hole that I'm worried if I go down it, that's it. That will that will be yeah. that will be yeah, my life. Yeah. Life yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. It's a big time suck. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if if there's any connection between Olympics and 90 Day Fiance, but I kind of want both of those to happen now. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it's whenever there's you know victory at the Olymp- Olympics, but also when the marriage lasts in 90 Day yeah. Fiance. Mm-hmm. There yes. you go. That that I mean, all odds. <laughs> you, you probably don't want to play liar if it's going to be like for the successful marriages. But that point, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, sure. we, we make it work. We make it work. But uh, <laughs> but obviously, you know, we we've mentioned sort of the you know things are opening up. You've got some some music on the pipeline, and you've got some shows, uh, particularly in September, uh, planned out. But sort of, is there anything else you've got going on in 2021 for the rest of the year or into the future that you're excited about? Um, well, we got a handful more releases coming up, and then we really want to start booking a tour, probably start just doing a West Coast tour, and then slowly expand outwards towards world domination. <laughs> well, if you can if you can spread that world domination to uh, to London, UK, then I would be very, very happy, and the beers are well, very uh, much for me. We're, we're manifesting it. There you go. We, we, you know, I'm crossing everything. I'm crossing everything because that definitely, <laughs> that definitely needs to happen. And uh, yeah, so uh, with the new singles, uh, I know obviously these things have to be kept a little bit under wraps. But how long, roughly, have we got to wait before the next one? We've got a couple yeah. ready to go. It's just a question of one of them in particular, eh, maybe both, are like very like cinematic to me. Like when I hear them, like I'm seeing like all these things, and then like the producer like the video producer side of me is like this is going to be so expensive to try <laughs> you know, like a sick music video or some kind of sick visual for it you know like who do we know that has a gymnasium <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah you know? um you know one of um like i yeah you know, want to do like super super elaborate but there's got to be a balance you know in practicality and stuff since we're still so diy at this point yeah. and still so independent um it's like the transparent love video we had like a crew of three Mm -hmm. and then the band so it was like it was like tony uh directed it Mm -hmm. and then our friend heather um was shooting it and then alex coulter was like doing like pulling focus and stuff and we were all just like helping set up things and like yeah zach and i doing all the outfits yeah (laughs) yeah we uh costumed the whole video um, Evan and Tony went and like we did location scouting online and then Evan and Tony went to go check it out. So it's like, that's what is what's so great about our videos too. It's like, it really builds such like a little family on like to get, you know, seven people together and just focus all their brain power on one project, making that as amazing as possible. Um, Tony did the live video too. Yeah. Man, so Tony oh, also yeah. had to direct the live. Yeah. He's a legend. Shouts to Tony if you're watching <laughs> this. Um, he, he better but be. <laughs> uh, definitely. Uh, but hopefully, in the next couple months, we'll have like one of the next ones ready to rock. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. And yeah, I completely agree. When it, when you're doing sort of stuff on your own, like, and you see it from sort of beginning to end, it's just so much more satisfying, and you do sort of you know appreciate it more because your fingers have been in, uh, all over the project. So uh, totally. So yeah, DIY is always the way to go, in my opinion. Yeah, even those shots like in the Transparent Love video, like we all shot those. Like we had Evan and I's, uh, we went back home to our parents' house, found their old like uh, VHS camcorder where they shot all our like home videos growing up. My and so those like down. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. And so like a lot of those shots, like in between um, transitions and stuff in the Transparent Love video, we actually shot all those ourselves. Incredible. So it was fun that we all played a role in kind of shooting the video as well as being in front of the camera. And then Zach and I well, just sat here there. and did the edit. Yeah, we taught ourselves how to color correct. <laughs> it's uh, it's a journey. And, you know, like I, I could t- uh, put hand on heart, say that I saw the Transparent Love video and I would have assumed you've got like a professional, you know, m- media company to, to wow. make that. Oh, yeah. so it, it looks sick, guys. Like, honestly, um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the uh, the ambitious plans and whatever is going to happen and go down in the gymnasium. I uh, I, wait with, <laughs> I wait with bated breath. But for now, uh, I have to ask you the last 
very serious, very important question, which is we are Upside Down Shark. And don't ask me why we settled with Upside Down Shark. It is a very, very silly name, but we're in way too deep to change it now. But with that <laughs> in mind, with that in mind, guys, what are your favorite sharks? And they could be real. They could be fictional. They could be a shark from a movie or a shark from yeah. nature. But what, mm. could, what would be your favorite sharks? Mine would be a tie between the sharks with lasers on their heads from the first Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> or, I don't know, did you ever watch the Screw Sharks growing up? Yes, yes. It was like oh, a ninja, because I love Ninja Turtles. This was obviously the most blatant attempt to knock off the Ninja Turtles. They were like, oh no, they're sharks and they're teens and they're mutants. <laughs> but like, you know, and they also skateboard, but Turtle Shark, it's infinitely different. <laughs> but I had one VHS tape for the Street Sharks, and I would watch that all day. Oh, uh, they will have to watch them. So That's I would so say good. Street Sharks for me. Very Ooh. cool. Very cool. Jones? I don't know. It was just like the, the shark from Finding Nemo. Bruce? Bruce. Bruce. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, you know, he was trying oh, to be around the edges, so. but like, he was a good dude. Hot, hot <laughs> he was trying, hot, he was hot, trying hot. his hardest, you know, he's doing everything he could. He's still a shark at the end of the day. Hmm. I was going to go hammerhead. Hey, mm. that, my brand, yeah. my brand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, we got a, we got a good a good spread there. We've got you know. I've been uh, watching Hella Shark Week. Ah, uh, I. Is it Shark we, Week? Right now? Oh, it's Shark Week currently. Yeah. yeah, we we don't Shark Week isn't such a thing over here, which is really disappointing. Like, there's like oh, one yes. channel that like does Shark Week, but I need to I need to watch some shark documentaries. Uh, apparently, with Upside Down Shark too. Apparently, when you flip them over, it's like some weird response where they like fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. They yes. like get real calm and then they just. <laughs> Oh, wow. Just chill. That, know that, that. That's why, like, people are like, "Oh, why? Why is your logo? Why is your brand like a dead shark?" I mean, it's like, it's not dead. It's just chill. It's just yeah, chill. It's so, just that, snap. That's it. That's it. But uh, but that's three great shark choices because we've got arguably the coolest natural shark in real life. We've got mm-hmm. the kindest shark in Bruce from Finding Nemo, and mm-hmm. the most and the most homoerotic sharks from mm-hmm. Street Sharks. Oh, yeah. those, abs, <laughs> yeah. those abs are to die for. <laughs> I'm very jealous of those sharks. But, like a uh, shark in cargo shorts. Yeah. Uh, but also a special shout out to Jabberjaw because he played in a sick rock band. Yeah. So this the Jabberjaw. Jabber Jabber Jabber. That's probably the shark we have the most in common. Right? Yeah. If you're watching Jabberjaw. Jabberjaw. <laughs> Jabber <laughs> <Jabber. laughs> we love you. <laughs> I mean, the, we had a, a wealth of 90s TV sharks that, <laughs> frankly, this current generation of kids, you know, they're missing out. They're missing out on all the cool yeah, sharks. So uh, we need to bring it back. It's not on TikTok. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Baby Shark is is got nothing on the street sharks. It's got oh, nothing yeah. on Jabba Joe. jam. It is a jam. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. That might Welcome be our next cup. That's our next cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you now you said it. You got to do it. No, and you, like, <laughs> you got to you got to do a little dedication for us now. You got. Oh, you yeah. it. it's going to happen. But but guys, thank you so much for your time. It's been absolutely great. Yeah, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. The pleasure is all mine. The last serious question I have to ask you is: uh, until people can see you at the next show, or until they can catch you live. Where can people find you guys online? You can find us on Instagram at, at Superspace Nation, on our website, superspacenation.com. Twitter. Our yeah, Facebook. On Twitter. Oh, yeah, Facebook. Yeah. I don't have a Facebook, so this is. I we got about uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, we got the YouTubes. We've got uh, all socials, all yeah, of the social media, social. the internet. Just the we internet. Like we don't have a LinkedIn. No, we should yeah. get a LinkedIn. <laughs> Very We're professional. Start on LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. If you're watching this, endorse us for public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly will. I certainly will. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much, and let's do this again sometime. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Love to. Thank you so much. Thanks Anytime. Anytime. Like it's all on me.